So can you explain what's happening here in Semarang over the next few days? So we're here sort of gathered um, with about 100 people who've been involved in some way with the Asian Cities Climate Change Resilience Network. It's been an eight year effort. Uh, there have been hundreds of institutions, lots of individuals involved in sort of really as pioneers of building the field of urban climate change resilience. And, and this is a really special few days where we're bringing as many people who've been involved in that as we could together to share their experiences, to continue to build their relationships and to develop new partnerships. And how far has the ASEM program come in those eight years? I think it's come incredibly far if you consider that what we talk about now quite comfortably is urban climate change resilience or even just urban resilience um, is really a concept that was pretty alien to most people eight years ago. At that point, the idea that cities need to prepare for the impacts of climate change was sort of overshadowed by the whole question about mitigation and emissions reduction. Yet we were beginning to see the, the sort of very dramatic impacts that cities, um, particularly second tier, fast growing cities were facing. Um, so when you think back to that eight years and what's been achieved, not just by the original 10 ASN cities, but now 30 or 40 more, and also how that's inspired new efforts by the foundation, such as 100 Resilient Cities, but also by other um, governments, by donors, etc. Um, I think it's been really an inspiration for this whole area um, and for others to come in and, and get involved in this kind of work. What do you think we can expect from this conference then? What's your dream outcome? So I think firstly I hope we have a lot of fun. Um, I think there's, there's so much experience to share that often doesn't get out of even an individual city. You know, there's things that even surprise us and we've been involved intensively with this work for seven, eight years and then you have a conversation with someone and you realize, wow, that's an incredible um, process of change that's been taking place but kind of below the radar. So what I really hope for is that we just surface a lot of those experiences. We can share those experiences but more importantly we can show these ideas and what cities are doing now to the rest of the world. Rockefeller Foundation has invested a lot in, in urban climate resilience building um, across Asia. Um, do you anticipate that this will be a priority for the foundation in years to come? Absolutely. I mean, resilience is actually one of our two foundation-wide goals. Um, so it's not just that we launched an initiative called ASEN, but we actually committed ourselves as a foundation you know, over five years ago, over 10 years ago actually, uh, to continue working to build resilience. So you've already seen the launch a couple of years ago of 100 Resilient Cities, which has a very large cohort and, and growing cohort of Asian cities. You've seen the launch of the Global Resilience Partnership, and you'll see some sort of other efforts that are gonna build up over the years ahead. So this is definitely not a sort of a departure, even though the work of ASEAN has sort of reached its maturity and it's come to a natural conclusion. Really, actually, we're doing more today than we were five years ago. Aspen, thank you very much. Thank you.